How to connect Hostinger domain to Shopify. Now to get started, you do want to open up both the Hostinger dashboard as well as the Shopify dashboard. And before we can continue, by the way, I currently give out my Shopify course for completely free. So make sure to click on the link down below if you do want to. Then right here under the Shopify dashboard, you do want to head over to settings on the bottom left and then navigate to domains right here on the left. Now, this is probably going to look something like this. You are going to have your default Shopify domain right here. However, to now actually add a domain, you do want to click on connect existing domain. And then you do want to head over back to the shop, basically back to the hosting a domain dashboard. And you do want to click on manage right here. Then we do actually have to add some DNS name server records. So to do so, just head over to the left right here. And then we actually do want to change the records right here. So to get started, actually delete all of these records because these are just basically useless and we don't want to actually have them on our domain. So just delete them. And now that we have deleted them, we can actually add our DNS records for Shopify. I will also leave you these in the description down below. So to get started, we will have to add a A record. This is actually by default already selected. Then as for the name or host, we will actually have to add, but just leave this at this add record. And then we do want to point this to this IP address. So make sure to just select this right here. As for the TTL, we can just leave this at the default. And then we want to add this record. Then we want to actually also add an AAAA record. Once again, name is going to be this add thing right here. And then we want to actually uh, basically point this to this, uh, to this other IP address. We are going to click on add record. And then as for the last record, we do want to add a CNAME record. Then name, this is actually uh, other for name right here. We actually do want to add www. And as for the target, we do want to add shops.myshopify.com. So make sure to actually also uh, include this dot right here uh, and then click on add record. Now, if we were now going to head back to our Shopify domain, uh, we will then actually have to add our domain right here. So I'm just going to put this in right here, click on next. And now as you can see right here, we can actually verify our connection. So this is now actually going to be added onto our shop. And if we were now going to open up this domain in a new tab, we can actually see that this successfully got connected with Shopify. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.